messengers as bringers of good tidings and warners so that mankind will have no argument against Allah after the messengers and ever is Allah exalted in might and wise Bismillah alhamdulillah assalamu alaikum wa alaikum it's nice for all of us to be together like this today, especially because now we want to begin talking about the last and the final prophet of Allah, Almighty God, who sent so many prophets. Now we would like to hear about the last prophet and what he taught and who are his followers. We'll divide this up into different segments or episodes so that we can take full advantage to get an idea of the life the times, the meaning, the prophecies, the events that took place, and the people involved, and especially to learn how we can use it to benefit ourselves today. Make sense? Yes. yes. Well, let's get started. First things first, I want to go back now and look again at the first prophet. I like to do that because it helps me to keep a balance to start in the beginning. And we said, first prophet is the first person. Makes sense to me. And his name is? Adam salam. Adam, peace be upon him. And by the way, we discovered that Adam is the name that's used in English and Arabic and Urdu and Russian and Spanish. In fact, all of the lands all over the earth, wherever I went, I asked the people, what do you call the first man? They all say Adam or a word close to that, Adam. Adam, I'm from Texas, we go, Adam, you say, Adam, still the same guy, then. and he's the first man, and look, all of the people of the tribes of Israel, the children of Israel, all the Jews, they say, Adam is the first man, and from him came his wife, Hawa, or Eve, Eve, yeah, well, this is the same thing they have in Christianity, it's the same thing that we have in Islam. Then each prophet that came after and after and after, we learned about. Did we learn about one called Noah? Yes. Noah? Yeah. Abraham? Yes. Ishaq? Yes. Ismail? Yes. Yaqub? Yes. Ayub? You remember Ayub? It had all those problems? Yes. And he was so patient. Yeah. Let's see, did we hear about Musa? Alayhi salam? Mm hmm. How about Dawood, David? Yes. Suleiman? Yes. Hmm. Yahya. Yahya, Yahya. You like Yahya. You like the happy name, huh? Yahya. John? Yusuf? Yahya. Okay, Yusuf, yeah. <laughs> we heard about him, yes. He had a hard time, didn't he? But Allah made it easy for him after he spent that time in the prison, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. And we heard about Jesus. Jesus the Christ, peace and blessings, mercy of Allah with him. Did you know each of those prophets talked about another prophet to come? Each one of them, they spoke about a prophet to come after them. More prophets will come. Always telling the tribes of Israel there will be prophets coming to them and a Messiah was going to come to them. And we talked about that. The one who will be the chosen one, who will be what they called the Christ, but also they talked about Prophet Muhammad Now they talked about him by describing his characteristics. They talked about him describing the events that would take place at his time. They talked about him with regard to the revelation which he would be sent with, the Quran, and they even mentioned his name, by name. Wow. Yet we find today that most of the people don't know that. They were like, what are you talking about? And I remember that Ahmed Didad, may Allah have mercy on him, was talking one time with a priest about this subject. And he asked the priest, in your Bible, does your Bible have everything in it? He said, yes, it has everything. He says, is there anything your Bible doesn't have? 
any important event that takes place? No. The priest told him, the Bible has everything, didn't leave out anything important. He said, okay. He said, did your Bible mention anything about Muhammad? He said, no. There's nothing in there about Muhammad. He said, oh, but you just said anything important would be there. It has prophecies? Oh, yeah. Things are going to happen in the future? Yes. He's talking about cities that are going to be built up. Oh, yeah, it's got, everything is there. Some people even said it describes the internet in the Bible. They told me that. Then he said, so why then? If it's a book talking about everything, why it doesn't mention Muhammad? The priest had no answer. He said, I have to get back to you on that. Because whether you believe in Muhammad, sallallahu as the prophet of Allah, as the messenger, as being truthful, regardless if you believe it or not, everybody accepts that he was a real person and that he really did live. And he had a dynamic impact on the world at his time until today. It was in the London Times, which is a newspaper in the UK. And you know what it said? The number one name given to children in UK. Now, that's England, isn't it? It's not a Muslim country, is it? England is not a place where they have all Arabs, is it? No. It's not a place where they have all people from India. No. Yet in this country called the United Kingdom, the number one name on the birth certificates of all the babies is Muhammad. Hmm? Now, if you said that was true in Saudi Arabia, we'd say, well, sure, why not? If you said in Kuwait, we'd go, yeah, why not? Egypt, all right. Morocco, okay. Even Turkey, because Turkey is a Muslim country. Yes, and it is true. Muhammad is the number one name on the birth certificates of all the babies in those countries. But how about UK? And this is a big shock. And that's why they put it in the newspaper. How come so many babies named Muhammad, 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 Muhammad? There's Abdurrahman Muhammad. There's Muhammad Abdullah, and even Sarah Muhammad. They want to put this name Muhammad with all their children, even the girls. Yeah, it's true. It's an amazing name. So how come you didn't mention it in your book? No answer. And in another newspaper, it said that Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. Yeah. Everywhere. Islam is growing and many people are entering into Islam. But they said it's like a disease. <laughs> it's going everywhere. Some people are catching it. Yeah. One boy came to the university and he took all of our videos and tapes from the table when we weren't looking and he ran away with them. Yeah, because in his religion, he thought he was doing something good to steal all our stuff. We didn't care. Later, one of his friends asked him, you hate Islam. He said, I hate Islam. They said, then why did your sister become a Muslim? He said, oh, he said, I took all those tapes off of the table from Sheikh Yusuf and I put them into the, you know, a place to store them. And I was going to record over them with music and stuff later. And my sister pulled one out and she watched it and she saw Islam and accidentally she became a Muslim. <laughs> Had an accident today and became a Muslim. <laughs> so why, if something is so important and so big and it's the number one subject in the news is Islam. The religion that came with Muhammad. Yeah? So why you don't have anything about that? And in fact, they do have, but they've covered it up and they forgot about it. In the scriptures from before, there's something called Deuteronomy. That's the name of a book. And in chapter 18, verse 16, 17, and 18, very clearly is talking about a prophet who's going to come and he's going to be just like Moses. Just like Moses. Guess what? Some people said, oh, it's Jesus. We said, how? How did you say this is Jesus? They said, well, uh, he's a prophet. We said, okay, he's a prophet. Jesus is a prophet. What else? Well.